I think that it cannot be denied that a carnivore style diet, because I think where people listening to this might be getting confused is they might think, well, hang on, I know someone that adopted a carnivore diet, all meat, and they feel great. Mm -hmm. And, and, and so I've seen that as well. And I think that you'd be a silly, foolish person to deny that there are certain people out there who are achieving at least short-term benefits in removing some uh, plant foods and probably a lot of ultra processed foods from their diet and going to a a sort of all carnivore or animal, very animal based diet. And I think that this is actually completely explainable in the literature. Mm. And I am really uh, excited. We're recording this uh, ahead of me releasing a conversation with Justin and Erica Sonnenberg. But I, in that conversation, there was on the microbiome. They're two leading uh, researchers from Stanford University, microbiologists. They've actually spent a lot of time with the Hadza, mm-hmm. um, and they have a book called The Good Gut. Uh, but I, I think that a lot of this comes back down to dysbiosis and disruption of the microbiome. Mm-hmm. And what, we're, what we've seen is that uh, as a result of living in a modern industrialized world with over sanitization, ultra processed food consumption, that all these foods lack a lot of fiber. Uh, there are other um, lifestyle influences, you know, uh, perhaps unnecessary use of antibiotics or overuse. Mm-hmm. We've seen this very damaged microbiome. And with that damage, you lose bacteria that are capable of breaking down fiber. Mm -hmm. You've lost these fiber degraders. And you and I know that those fiber degraders, they're actually key because your gut is like a pharmacy. When the bacteria is feeding on these prebiotics, it's dispensing drug-like molecules Mm -hmm. that go into your blood and affect your mood. They affect your blood glucose control. They affect your lipids. And when you have a disrupted microbiome and you lose that capacity, you're missing out on those rewards. Mm -hmm. However, we also know that if you are, if you are, uh, if you have the disrupted microbiome, just putting in a whole lot of fiber and plants may not fix it for a lot of people. And it might actually increase inflammation. Mm-hmm. And we know that from a recent study, the fermented versus fiber food study, where a certain percentage of people adding fiber to their diet, it actually made them worse. Mm-hmm. And you might rev up inflammation. And so people with these inflammatory conditions might actually feel worse by adding more plant foods, whole plant foods. And and you and I work with people. I, I've received this feedback. I know that certain people, mm-hmm. when you get them to eat more whole plant foods, at least initially, they don't feel so great. No. And so there is a role for elimination style diets. Right. And that is saying, okay, we've got these triggers that their microbiome is compromised. They're not handling. It's revving up inflammation. When we take those out, we can help settle them down. Mm. And I think that's what's happening with the carnivore diet. Yeah. You're seeing people that are removing all these foods. They do feel better. I would just caution against thinking that that is a dietary pattern that's going to serve you best for the rest of your life. Mm. What I would say is you want that pharmacy in your gut firing again and mm. dispensing those those drug-like molecules that are uh, maybe not essential for survival, but they are essential for health span. Yep. And so uh, that then... The, the question is, how do you help that person reshape their microbiome and get back to a position where they can degrade these the, the fiber? Yep. And I think that's 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 a really uh, fun and interesting area that we need few, more science to explore so we know what are the best protocols. Mm-hmm. Is it that they need certain probiotics or do you introduce fermented foods first? Yep. Uh, or do you introduce polyphenols, which we know we act as, pre- as prebiotics, but maybe aren't as fermentable and cause bloating and gas mm. and trying to, to, to structure a program that allows them to get plant diversity back into their diet. And so my, my message to people would be, you may have experienced benefit on the carnivore diet. You may have friends that have, but think about it as an elimination diet. Yep. There, is, there is a very uh, logical explanation for why you would feel better. Yep. But based on all of the science we have, eating those foods at at a high exposure level long term Mm. is probably not going to serve you well in terms of 
colorectal cancer risk, cardiovascular disease risk, uh, dementia, and, and so on. <laughs>